Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to Sunday Sesh. My name is Bevan. For those who are new to Sunday Sesh, it's our weekly um, gathering where we can come together and uh, help support each other. Normally, we do it in person. Um, since the fall, we've been doing it more online because we, I know that um, a lot of us are more indoors now, right? Um, over the summer, we did a lot in the park. So we want to continue to have this platform for those of you who may not be here in Richmond, um, you may be in New York, DC, LA. Um, Sunday Sesh is for us to um, get together. At least for me personally, it's um, I find that it helps me to be able to go into the new week um, feeling wonderful. Um, some of my best content I've created came from going to church. So um, just backstory. Uh, for me, this has been a long journey, and uh, I grew up in, in the church. I grew up in Church of Christ, so for me, having a Sunday was, you know, we all went to church on Sundays. The thing I, I just, for me, remember is, like, going to church, I uh, I learned a lot, but sometimes the, the, the pastors in them don't really um, give you the tools to say, okay, how do you use what you just told me during the week, right? And so... Um, Knowing that, understanding that, uh, military exposed me to a ton of different cultures. Uh, I got to go to monasteries up in Greece and Italy, um, been to Turkey. So I got to see how, um, you know, Islam uh, religion is, right? How Muslims operate. Um, even today, a lot of my um, team are in Pakistan, they're Muslims. So I get to open myself up culturally. I get to expand and that helps me become a better person helps me become a better leader. It also helps me be more humble and mindful as I create content for my community and for you guys. And so when I went to um, LA, I, I knew that, cause I was in Florida and I, I couldn't learn fast enough. So I went up to LA, I got a mingle and we ended up finding a church. And so, um this was like the like the first time I actually vape I used to vape before I go to church because my mind tends to to um process things really fast and so taking a couple of puffs helped me to calm my brain down so I can absorb the information that's been presented to me and um so every Sunday I should be taking notes so it, if it's something about love let's say the pastor talking about love and the, the congregation that I, I connected with to wasn't like Church of the Christ, which is, is non denominational It was anybody came, people, um, all walks of life. There was a young, old, gay, straight. There was everybody there. It was, like, it was so awesome to see um, the community. And so when we talk about love, um, a lot of those things resonate with me. So I use, you know, for example, you may talk about how, um, because it's more of the um, Christian center, right? The pastor. So let's say you talk about love and how Jesus um, was deaf to love everybody, right? For me, it's a reminder, hey, Bevan, um, as a leader, as somebody who follows um, Christ, um, I need to love everybody. I need to give back. I need to remember that um, life is not just me. It's about the people, right? I have to be grateful to be able to experience the things that I experienced, which helped me to um, open myself up spiritually, which allowed me to um, do all the things I've been able to do, right? And it's a reminder that, hey, Bevan, there's people who are looking up to you and you have to remember to give back. You have to remember that. Don't get so caught up that you forget where you come from. And so when we talk about love, it's like, for me, it's like, I, I got to love everybody, right? No matter the good or the bad, um, what I get from people, I have to continue to love them and say, hey, um, love each other, right? No matter what we're going through, whether you believe in, you know, in, in church or not, you still got to love each other because we need each other to survive. Us as a human culture, it's about surviving and being together. So some of my greatest content came from um, Sunday. And so I know that, hey, I, I'm not a person that like goes to church a lot, but I still need that spiritual connection. I, I still need that positive influence for me. Um, every every Sunday and so Sunday says just happened it came over that early in the year and um something that was just on my mind for years because at one point I was like man I could be a pastor if I wanted to right but I was like mm, I don't think I can, I can just 
box myself in there because I, I, I don't like feeling like I'm being boxed in. I, I like to feel free, right? And so um, it was just funny how Sunday Sesh came out because somebody was told me a couple weeks ago, Babylon, you, that, that's your church. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want that no labels, but at least, you know, if I have a community, then that's what it is because I know just looking back at um, the, the other religions that um, it was all community-based, right? This is how we fed ourselves, right? This is how we treat each other. Like if I'm growing corn and you grow potatoes, uh, when we come together on Sundays, um, we trade, right? I say, here's some corn, give me some potatoes because, you know, I needed that. And two, um, we as a culture wasn't really um, heavy on like money as we are today, right? And so having that community uh, on Sundays helps me a lot. Like you guys don't know, how much Sunday Session has been for me, like as I build and continue to push and all these new opportunities that are presenting because because I'm, I'm so super driven, like all of y'all have been tremendous in my growth and not to give up, right? Um, I was reminded today that Bevan, you need to be more positive to yourself, right? Um, I need to um, pat myself on my back. And so, um, but I cannot do that with a, without just I just I just can't right I, I pat myself on the back but for me I'm happiest when I help others when I'm seeing other people happy I can help other people because it makes me feel good and just from what I learned that um we as a culture it feels better when we help each other right this is all about love and so today's topic is on resilience and for me uh, resilience is about not giving up like like I said um you all here as a community is what keeps me going. Um, I've put a lot of work into building the community, you know, blood, sweat, tears, late nights. Um, and I got sick. I was down for uh, two and a half weeks. Um, I'm still not trying to get back up, right? Um, and to be honest, those two and a half weeks was like really dark for me in some parts because um, being sick, um, laying in bed, I had no energy. Um, I didn't want to get up, do anything. So I just, I just felt like emotionally drained. And it was you guys, like those of you reached out, those of you just, even if you just text me and say, Hey, baby, how are you doing? How are you doing? We haven't seen you posting. We haven't seen you normal stuff. Like that got me going like, Hey, baby, I gotta be resilient. I don't have, don't give up. Like, um, there's people out here who need me. Um, uh, even I was even told, um, I was there laying down there. I was just feeling bad. Like I didn't want to move. And um, I was, somebody that said, Bevan, I need you. Like, I need you to get better. Like, don't give up. I, I need you. Like, and hearing those words, like, made me feel really good, right? Because I cried a little bit. Because, like, not every day you hear somebody tell you, hey, Bevan, I need you. Because I'm kind of, like, in a little bubble um, for many reasons. Like, I've been, I've had death threats about against my life. Even this summertime, people threaten me, right? Because I no longer want to be associated with certain people based off on um, people's character and who they are. Like I give out. And if you know at some point you're giving me what I need in return to help me to fill my cup, then I don't need to be around you, right? And this is something that's important for you guys to remember too, to make sure you surround yourself with people who are there for you. This is why we have a community. This is why we have Sunday Sesh. And like, I get death threats. Um, and so knowing that hey, I have like where I'm going in my life, the goals I have for the business and for the community is high. And I, I see it coming and I see others in my life, other mentors who went through it. You have to put yourself some kind of security bubble around you. So I, I kind of avoid um, people. A lot of people, I kind of avoid going out unless I really need to, um, just so that when those things happen for me that I've put in a place that I know is going to hit at this point, um, I can't say, okay, um, I'm secure. That's just for me um, because I, I want to grow big, right? I'm growing big. And so this is some of the things that um, I deal with. And so I don't really hear the word, I need you, right? Because most people just come and take. They, you know, I give. I, would give, I give freely. I love giving, giving, because um, there's no sense of having all this knowledge if you don't give back. And so... Um, Hey, hearing the, those words really spoke to me. It made me feel really good. Um, it's like, uh, it's been really cloudy. 
And so that was like the sunshine for me, right? And you should remind me to have be resilient, be resilient. No matter what um, I go through, no matter all the, the thoughts we have, it's just thoughts. There's people out here who support me because um, I've been given, right? And the more you give, the more you're going to return. And so my goal for everybody um, is to continue to be resilient. It's it's winter, right? We know win uh, winter is coming. Um, there's a lot that's negative that's happening out in the world, right? Um, times are hard for a lot of us, right? Um, we all making it like me. I'm, I'm break even every month and I'm grateful for that. I thank God for that because uh, I'm still, I'm not on the streets. And as long as none of us are on the streets, we can continue to be resilient, right? Um, this is will too shall pass everything we're going through is going to get better spring is going to come summer's going to come back right and um the world is going to is going to evolve but we have to do our part right the world is changing right we have to evolve or die there's a word that says evolve or die you have to evolve animals are evolving right now the polar caps um all the the, the rise of the oceans right i watch documentaries and i see um the, the arctic is all that the glaciers, a lot of the snow is gone. So like polar bears have to change and adapt to survive. So we have to learn to adapt and survive. And the only way for us to really do that is as a community. We have to be there for each other. We have to support each other. If something's happening in a negative manner somewhere, it's up to us to say, hey, this is what's happening here to, um, for us to continue to um, do good. Um, so keep being resilient. I uh, appreciate you guys. Um, those of you who haven't, Download the app. Please download Mime app, M I M E A C O. All the content that I've been building over the years is being uploaded onto the app. If you want to learn about turpins and how we can help you with a sleep for focusing, um, cannabinoids for pain, for sleep, um, all this content is up on Mime and it's all powered by CBD Help. Um, my goal is to continue to give you guys a place. Um, I've built, been building communities for year, for years, right? Um, over 80,000 and the, um, the goal here is to be able to help curate that content into our space that's easy for you guys, right? So you come up on the platform, you know, hey, as an area on CBD, right? As an area on um, herbs, right? Um, magic herbs, secret herbs, there's a space for you guys to go for can therapy. Everything's gonna be curated for you so that way you don't feel lost, right? It's a place for you to come. You still have your own feed. There's groups, there's forums for you to be able to find information you need and not feel like, um, like you're lost, especially, um, I'm a community on Reddit. I've seen so many people, the new people who ask all these questions. And I'm like, man, like these are the things that I used to ask when I started. So how can I best serve um, Reddit and everybody else is through me mayor in a space for us to be able to gather and have this information and not feel like, I don't know how to ask. Like, cause the biggest thing is some of us, I know I used to feel like that. I used to feel like, um, like it's an accident, a basic question, I feel dumb. I mean, you're not supposed to feel that way because if you don't know it, you're supposed to ask. And so um, for the holidays, I'm working on a, a huge, at least $1,000 worth of products, a giveaway for me, Mayor. I will I'll, I'll announce that uh, next week. Um, uh, I love um, being able to reach out to brands and say, hey, time for you guys to give back and give me some products and let me give it out to the community because a lot of us are struggling with, like, with sleep and pain, right? This is two of the things that um, a lot of you in the community have been telling me. And so my goal is to uh, find brands and products that are there to actually help you and give you quality things, right? There's so much happening right now where brands are doing things the wrong way. So why not find the good brands to say, hey, these are the products you should be supporting and return, it's, you know, you build community. So uh, mimea.co um, is there for you guys. Please download it. I appreciate it so much. Uh, we're going to get ready to do yoga um, in, a, in a few minutes. Uh, see Haley's over there getting ready. Um, Beatrix is not here today. She's on family vacation. She'll be back on Sunday for um, kind of therapy. Uh, song, song therapy is, 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 is wonderful. For those of you who are not really strong sure with song therapy, everything that happens is done by vibration, right? Just like light. What we see is visible light, is white light, but there's so much other light uh, waves that we do not see. Same thing with sound, like there's sounds that um, dolphins, there's sounds that whales can hear that we cannot hear, right? And there's certain frequencies, like full 32 hertz, if I'm not mistaken, right, is 
is frequencies that science have done research on to show you that it helps heal the body, right? And so the things that Beatrice can do, we have tuning forks, the sun bubbles, is there to help the body. Um, this is some of the things, uh, Nicholas Tesla, I uh, hope you guys look into that, look into him. Uh, he was doing a lot of research on that, right? Um, so song therapy is a wonderful, especially when you medicated. You no, know, we all love those of us who are here. We all love the plant, and to be able to just relax, close your eyes, and just absorb that song energy has helped me um, a lot. Like, I, uh, yeah, it helps me. So, uh, yep, I appreciate it. And so, um, welcome, Haley. Thank you so much for um, for doing this yoga. Uh, I know it helps you as well, and I'm grateful for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can also vouch, I love uh, the Mamiya app for, I like the, um, the what is it, the weekly, um, not necessarily, I guess, weekly herb. I love that. Um, also, for me, yeah, yoga is, uh, really helps. I have thoracic outlet syndrome, so CBD and yoga and the sound baths all help me um, manage my chronic pain and everything. So I'm gonna get into it. I hope you will be able to hear me well, Bevan. Um, 